Hey everybody, this is Joel Runyon with Ultimate Paleo Guide. Today we're answering the question, where can I find paleo food in my local grocery store? Now today I'm going to share with you a strategy called donut shopping, which does not sound like it would be paleo at all, but it actually is because it actually involves like a donut shape rather than an actual donut. Sorry to disappoint you guys who really like donuts out there, but this is going to be better. It's going to be really helpful, I promise. Um, just stick with me a little bit, all right? Uh, <laughs> So, so the deal is that most grocery stores are actually laid out very similar, similarly, and if you, you approach them uh, with a little bit of knowledge, you can avoid all the, the temptation and, and stick to mostly paleo food. So I like to call this donut shopping, and it's basically where you go into your local grocery store and you shop around the edges of your grocery store. Um, and you don't go anywhere in the middle, hence the donut, where you basically go around in a circle and you leave the hole empty. Um, now, how this actually works is usually when you go into a grocery store, the first section is the produce section. So you're going to run into vegetables and fruits, and that's where you're going to pick up those. You'll probably also be able to find some nuts there, um, depending on the grocery store that you're in. As you go farther towards the back, the back right, you're going to start running into the butcher section, where you can pick up your meats your steak, your chicken, your fish, all that good stuff. As you move across the back of the grocery store, you're going to run into uh, some of the dairy stuff, which you probably want to avoid um, unless it's grass-fed butter. Uh, but you'll also run into the eggs, which you're going to want to pick up because I eat way too many eggs. Uh, you might too. Uh, so pick those up. And then as you come around to the left-hand side of the grocery store or the back, left side of the grocery store, you're going to end up in the frozen food section for most grocery stores where you can pick up, you're not going to want to actually get like the frozen dinners or the frozen preserved foods, but you can get frozen vegetables. So I like to get frozen broccoli and frozen spinach quite a bit because they stay, they keep really well. And then whenever I want to saute them up, I just throw coconut oil, thaw them out, uh, add some garlic, and then I'm good. Um, and then as soon as you come around the outside, uh, back towards the front, you're basically ready to check out. Um, and doing so, you got your fruits, your vegetables, your meats, your nuts, and seeds, depending on where those seeds are. Um, you also got your eggs in there, and you got some frozen vegetables that you can go ahead and use whenever you want. Um, and so that's the fastest way. I mean, almost every grocery store these days is laid out uh, either that way or the opposite way. But if you stare on the outsides, a lot of times you can avoid the temptations of non-paleo food. So uh, try that. It's called donut shopping um, or the donut technique. And uh, try that out next time you go out and uh, shopping and see, see if it works for you and let me know. Um, if you guys like to see more videos, if you have more questions, leave them down below. I'd, uh, I'd love to answer them in future videos. If you want to see uh, more videos in the future, hit subscribe, share this video with a friend. If someone you know is having trouble shopping or finding the right foods, tell them about the donut technique, send them this video, and then uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks, man.